What is going on today everyone? Well, um, today we are back up in the mountains. We're going to be doing some river fishing or stream fishing and maybe look for some mushrooms. Um, we'll just see how it goes today and I will see you guys out on the water. This is the river that we're fishing. Alright, here we go. You got it? There he goes. Dad caught it with the pink power worm. There you go. Yeah, let it go. This is the mushroom we're looking for right here. Look at that. What kind of mushroom is this? King Bleat. Okay. These are some of the best tasting mushrooms that I come across in Colorado. You can tell it's the right kind because it has a sponge bottom and that maroon color on the head right here. Like this is a really, really nice find right here. So yeah, I'll keep looking for them. I'm gonna bag this one. Usually when you, whenever you find one, there's a, there's, there's usually a pretty good group with them, like around. So you just gotta look around. Like that one is already all eaten up by bugs. And then, the dad was walking around. He found a few other ones around here. Where's it at? Oh yeah. This right here is starting to pop out. There's a smaller one. But oh, we're just gonna keep looking around. Oh, there's two more over here. So yeah, usually when you find them, they come in pots like this. These are the perfect eating size right here. So we're gonna harvest these. Just pull them right out of the ground. Nice and easy. But yeah, love eating these types. I'll probably show you guys how to cook it later. So look forward to that. And here's one that's all eaten up already. There it is. My little brookie. So fun to catch. Let's let him go. Look what I almost stepped on. One right here. It looks like a second one's growing right here. Got another one. Here's a little bit of an update. Um, the pink worm was working, but I'm gonna switch over to a night crawler because it seems like these fish are just a little bit too finicky. And then uh, we've been finding some mushrooms too. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys back out on the water. All right, I'm gonna try again with this finicky trout and I'm gonna use a night crawler or a worm. So I know for a fact that I'm gonna get it this time. There's no way I can't get it now. Oh, look, you chased it right up to it. Let the line down. You should hit it. Knew it. Watch him come back for it. Nothing works better than the worms for this, man. Artificials work too, but then, uh, but the night colors, they keep coming back for it. They'll hit it a few more times. There he is. Look at that. 
Nothing beats night crawlers, man. Alrighty. Let's let him go. That scroll or something? Yeah. Here's another little pocket that uh, has some mushrooms. Yeah, see over here too. That chewed up right here too. And then here's a the smaller one that's right here. That's not it. Don't pick that one. <laughs> but, but yeah, like the the telltale science is the maroon color on top and the sponge bottom. So yeah. Um, my advice is if you don't know what you're looking for in mushroom picking, um, don't do it <laughs> because uh, a lot could go wrong. Just put it that way. Uh, go with someone who actually knows what they're doing first. So um, yeah, and just learn from them. Caught one. Very small one. Oh. There he is. Tiny little guy. Let him go. All right, here we go. Head into the pocket. Ooh, I missed. on it very small guy there's one Let him go. There it is. Nice brook trout. Came back for it like four times. Let him go. Oh, there's a little one right here. There's another little one right there. That one is past its prime, but then they had some smaller ones around it where we're gonna harvest. So for you to check, you can pinch it. Break it, see if there's any. Break it, take a look at it. That's still good. Yeah, that is still good. See, it's still kind of firm. Yeah. And the sponge is not, uh, it doesn't turn a dark uh, yellow yet. But this is still good. And it's kind of hard to yeah. What about these little ones? Well, they're not that little. They're oh, yeah, pretty they're big. Size, yeah, those are nice. Okay. This is another nice find. There's one right here. It blends right in with the, the acorn. If you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't see it. It looks just like a rock. Oh, there's a baby one next to it too. Probably gonna leave a smaller one. Oh, there's a lot. There's one, perfect size. A smaller one, big one, another one, another one. Oh man, we're gonna take the big one. This is like perfect size, look at that. What about these two? Can 
gonna pick the two bigger ones. We're gonna leave the small one though. That's a fish. This guy swallowed it, so we're gonna keep him. Oh! <laughs> the dad found this one. Right here. Nice little one. There's a picket. And here's the other one that my dad found. Right here. Another right one for the picking. Here's another one right here. The squirrel's already got to it. It's still in pretty good shape. This is a nice pocket. There it is. Wow, sometimes you just gotta walk right at the right angle to see them. Cause here's one right here. We walked this pathway right here, right over it and we didn't see it. And then there's a second one right here. Wow. We turned around to start working our way back and then we saw these guys. <sighs> yeah, here's a dried up one right here too. It's not eating up already. There's a small little one right here. It's starting to pop up to the ground. But we're gonna leave this guy. To be ready in a few days. Dude. Where? I don't want to step on it. Oh, yeah. They look just like acorns. Okay. They blend right in. Look, you wouldn't see that if you weren't really paying attention. They're just starting to pop out. Give it a week. Yep. Someone already came in and harvested all these right here. Like you can see all the cut marks coming down and they missed one right here. I missed. I know, they're landing all over me. They love me too much. Ooh. There's another one.
that one came up and he hit it. That's a good one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. I chased it twice. Why do you love my hair so much, Fly? There's another one. Just gonna catch you enough just for dinner. There you go. One more should be good, and we'll, and we'll call it a day. This one might be a little too small though. Just take it. That's the last one. Alrighty, we are here in the kitchen and we are about to cook these guys. Gonna cook them up real quick. Ooh, that's a juicy one. We squeeze the lime on top of the fish to get rid of the slime. And it also adds flavor to the fish. We also add a little bit of salt. Yeah, put a little bit of salt in there. And then just kind of mix it up. Just adding it in. And there it is, the finished product. Bones and all. That feels not that bad.